Oh, fellow jewelers, I am so excited. Look at these earrings. They're so stinking cute. Look at these earrings. They're so cute. I love them. And I'm going to show you how to make them today because they're so easy, but they're so cute. And not only can you make a style like this, but I made other ones like this. And I made other ones as well. I mean, there's so many things you can do with this style of earring and you're going to love it. I can't wait to show you. Now, don't forget to subscribe my channel and click that bell to get more videos like this. So you and me, let's get started. So this is what you're gonna need to make your cute dangle earrings. Ooh. You always want to need your tools. So I have my electrician cutter tools, my long nose pliers, my round nose pliers, and my jewelry cutter tools. And then I have my beading wire. Now I used a thicker gauge. I used a thicker wire at 0.45 millimeter. You're going to need super glue. It's always good because it kind of holds the earring together. And then you need two shepherd's hooks, your cord and crimps. Now these are usually for necklaces, but I use it for this earring. And then I have four rondelles, two teardrop beads, and then two head pins to go for my teardrop beads. Then you're going to need to cut your wire at about five and a half inches. So two of them at five and a half inches. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is I want to put a loop on my teardrop. So I'm only going to have one loop on one side. And so I'm going to put the head pin, the flat side, um, closest to the um, big end. And then I'm going to, at the top, I'm going to cut my wire. I want it to be kind of a medium loop. So I'm going to leave a good amount on. If I was cutting a smaller loop, then I would cut a lot more wire off. So I'm going to use my round nose pliers. I'm going to take it at um, just the, the closest to the bead and I am going to bend it at a 90 degree angle. So I have about a 90 degree angle. Now um, with this, I'm going to do a medium size loop. So I'm going to put my wire between right here in the middle between the two. Here we go. So I'm going to put it right here and I'm going to curl in. I'm going to curl in and I'm going to go back down on my wire. I'm going to curl in some more and then I am going to make sure my loop is closed up. Now, usually to make sure my loop is closed up, I take my long nose pliers. I just kind of squish it a little and make sure that there is no gap right there. You want your wire to be touching your other side of your wire. And so I'm going to do that for my next feed. So go ahead and do that yourself. Okay. So now I have both my teardrop beads. They have loops on them and now I'm going to assemble. So I'm going to take my wire. One of my wires is five and a half inches and I'm going to put my one rondelle on. I'm going to put a rondelle on. I'm going to string it and then I'm going to put my teardrop and I'm going to put the loop right there. Oh, these are going to be so cute. I'm so excited about these. These are going to be so cute. Great for a party or going out or out or if you have a date or something. These are so cute. So do you see that? So now I am going to get my cord and crimp and I'm going to put it through. I'm going to put both ends through. Do you see this? Do you see I have both ends through? I'm going to actually hold it on that side. I'm going to turn around and hold them. Make sure they're pretty even. Um, so you got that. And then I'm going to take my long nose pliers and I'm going to bend one side just a bit. I just want to bend it just a bit. And then I want to get in some glue in there because the glue will hold it together. And so I'm going to just pour a bit. I got some on my finger. Oh, my finger's going to be all glued up. I'm going to get it in there and my glue is just coming out. And so I'm going to put it way to the side and I'm going to squish the rest all the way. I'm going to squish one side all the way has glue on there. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to squish it some more. Ah, oh, do you see? Oh, that is perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Now we're going to wait to let it dry a bit because I don't want to come in and clip it. But do you see? Oh, that is so cute. These are so cute. I'm so excited. So we're going to let it dry just a little bit. Okay. We've let it dry. And now I'm going to take my jewelry cutter tools and I am going to cut as far down as I can. I'm going to cut down as far as I can. I can't do these with my electrician tools. They just won't go in that, that close, 
And so I need my jewelry cutter tools. Oh my goodness, this is so darling. And now, do you see how this side, you can see the fold on here? You're gonna turn it over and you're going to um, work from this side. You're gonna take one of your shepherd hooks and you're gonna just see the loop. You're gonna pull out the loop and see you have your gap. So here we go, we're gonna make sure, make sure my shepherd hook is facing away and we're gonna put this in there just like that. So when you put it on, you can't see um, the, the folded side. And we're just going to close up the shepherd hook. And there you go, you have your earring. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so cute. I'm gonna make my other one. So go ahead and make your other one. So you're gonna kind of measure it to see, and mine's a little too small, and I'm gonna measure it, and then I'm gonna do the, like I did with the other one. I'm gonna bend it and put some glue in there and bend the other side. And there, my jewelers, my fellow jewelers, you have two cute dangle earrings. Ah! Oh! Look at how they glitter. Look how cute they are. I love them so much. And I actually made three of these, all different styles, same technique. So if you want to look at them, look at them. Aren't they super cute? I love the orange. I love all the blue ones. And I love the ones we just made for this video. It's so cute. Now the beads I got for this earring, I actually got from this deluxe jewelry making kit. I love this kit. I actually did an unboxing of it in another video. You're going to have to go see it because I love the beads in it. So if you want to add to your collection or your beginning jewelry maker, I highly recommend this, this jewelry making kit. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Before you go, I'd really like to pray for you. I love to pray for my viewers at the end of my videos. And this week, as I was seeking God what to pray for you, I felt like he was showing me that some of you, like nothing is going right. Like everything is going wrong. Everything you put your hand to, doors are something in your face, like nothing is going right. So I want to pray for that, that God would open doors and move on your behalf. So God, I thank you for my viewers. God, I thank you for them. I thank you that you have a heart for them. God, I pray for everyone that nothing is going right, God, that you would calm the storm, God, that you would just bless the work of their hands, that you would open doors, God, that haven't opened yet, that they would be open wide and opportunities would come knocking, God. I pray that whatever is not happening, that you would make happen. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!